the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Ole Soyinkar said that he hoped that Peter Obi doesn't contest the next presidential election because his team is incompetent to lead Nigeria. Moving on, we have Governor Godwin Obaseke said that he can't reconcile with those that offended him. But guys, before we commence fully, welcome back to Reality Letters GC Home of News and Politics. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. If this is the first time of watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, and also turn notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us to all our viewers out there thank you so much for joining us so guys let's proceed with the news prof wale soyinka said that he hoped peter will be the former labor party presidential candidate we not contest the next election prof soyinka said this in a recent interview with noble nigeria arguing that the action of the labor party leadership peter will be and his team in the last election showed that peter will be and his team were not fit to govern nigeria the literal icon further accused Peter Obi of controlling the online trust responsible for the insult directed at him and other prominent figures who raised critical questions about the party's campaign during the electionary period. Prof. Soyinka said that he was constantly insulted by Peter Obi supporters, known as obedient, on social media, especially X, <laughs> that it has to do with education. So he didn't read all the insults by obedience movement. But of course, some links were sent to him, especially when facts were being manufactured, that when he read these things, that he was disgusted. He said there is no other word he could use. <laughs> so he was really disgusted and he knew that it was orchestrated. <laughs> he said he knew that there is a rely mechanism which is triggered into action by those who control what they call the choice of the internet. And so his disgust and contempt. He said all he did was go about his business because nobody or anybody on this earth who thinks they can stop him telling the truth as he sees it need to have his or her head examined. That it is as elementary as that. But it is depressing to see those who wanted to be political leaders encouraging that kind of action, that that kind of attitude in the youth, and his mind went to the expression that they didn't know what they are doing because those who sow the wind will reap the wild wind. So Inka, who described the online choice as foot soldiers, added that they have trained in that aspect. He said that one of these days that they would be astonished, they would turn on them and teach them a lesson. And so his attitude was very blessing and it is for him a sad phenomenon especially for those who want to lead multi texture that is different religion different ethnic group different world views so who actually want to preside over such a group as one it means that they have already declared themselves incompetent to lead such an entity when soika was asked about peter obi and his candidacy in the last election soika said that he hoped for the sake of the nation that he doesn't express internet in the next election because for him as a leader if there was any proof that he was unfit to lead that country it is in the conduct which he encouraged among his followers my people don't be small matter actually peter obi has a competent team but just that, the way he goes about things, <laughs> he talks about everything he sees. And, you know, politically, it's not everything you see you can talk about. So many people hate him because of that attitude. <laughs> That's why some of them are saying that he doesn't control himself. He always thinks that he knows it all. So many people are against that action <laughs> for him to always give directive on how to run the government. <laughs> many come, they wonder, say, what did they happen? <laughs> He'd be like, say, Peter will be done first be president before because this is when they give directive. But he's seen the political issue in other aspects of which they don't want to join him to see what he's seen. So that is most thing people are against about his character. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. As the September 21st governor's election approaches, Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseke said, it would be hard for him to reconcile with those who have offended him in the course of governance. My people, there is a word that said to err is woman to forgive his divine. But in this aspect, hey, Governor God will the say that him no go reconcile with those who offend him. <laughs> There was a report that Godwin Obaseki made the remark when he visited the Edo State Muslim Pilgrim Welfare Board to bid welfare to intending pilgrims for the 2024 Haji and the launching of the Feed the Vulnerable program organized by the state government for Muslims in Benin City. 
the remark we are sequel to an appeal made by the state's chairman of Muslim Program Welfare Board, Sheikh Ibrahim, who urged the governor to reconcile with those who have offended him as well as those he offended in the course of his duty as governor with a view to winning the election. So responding to that statement, Godwin Obaseki, who said good can reconcile with evil, opined that there was no way one can convince evil to be good. According to him, he said that they can't continue to convince those evil who would enjoy seeing their people miserable, who want to keep such much for themselves and leave the rest of their people poor so it will be hard to reconcile with those people he said as they are going on haji that he prayed for them to have a change of heart because they can't continue to live in a society where so many people live with nothing why few have so much and continue to have so much that is why he makes sacrifices let them continue to fight him call him names but they will not touch the money and they will not use the money to buy food and fill the poor give them to imams and pastors to share for the poor in the next three months Godwin Obaseki, however, said that for the good things to continue, that the people have to ensure that his chosen successor, as the holder of the People Democratic Party, who will continue where he stop, wins the September 21st governorship election. Earlier on, Sheikh Ibrahim positioned that as clerks, they have the ability to tell the truth to those who occupy the position of leadership to strengthen and reshape their system and the country. So his appeal to His Excellency Governor Godwin Obaseki is to try as much as possible to reconcile with people who have offended him and those who he has offended in the course of his duty as governor. So he should try as much as possible to reconcile with them because tomorrow is pregnant. So they are telling Godwin Obaseki to do that for himself and for them as well. And the candidate he is projecting to the people for the election. Because this will go a long way in assisting his candidate in winning this election with a stress that they are telling him now because in the case of office, some persons may not be able to understand him or he may not be able to understand them as well. And at the end, he may offend them or they may offend him. That is true. God will basically have to do that. If he wants us, he would allow to win. And if he wants PDP to be in a good shape, because with this castle like where they apple for PDP, <laughs> and many people where they defect from PDP to APC, I'm not sure say PDP go get votes. <laughs> castle are not fit for PDP, and he go the roots for your candidates. Who want vote for the candidates? PDP must support their candidate first before any other person. That is why Sheikh Ibrahim is telling him now that there is wisdom and togetherness in reconciliation. He has opined that the more they are, the better for them because politics is a game of numbers. Now, I'm BD Coco. So, I guess I would like to know your thoughts. Your contributions, opinions are in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying with us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, come your awareness. Stay safe, guys.